Hi, I'm Dr. Tom McClellan. I want to show you an example today of an upper blepharoplasty. I'm going to divide the video into two videos. The first video will concentrate on the marking of the upper blepharoplasty as well as how I instill local anesthesia. And then the second video will be the actual surgical resection of the upper lid dermaticolasis. Upper blepharoplasty is one of the most common procedures that I perform. I want to tell you a little bit about my markings and where I put the anesthesia in and about how much I put in. And then specifically the layers that I go through in the second video. I hope you enjoy uh, part one of the upper blepharoplasty video and please make sure to watch the second part where we perform the surgical resection. And again, thank you so much for watching. These are the markings for the incision that I utilize. And this starts at the central portion of the eye above the iris. I make a mark along the natural eyelid crease, which is typically between 8 and 10 millimeters. I then make a mark lateral to the lateral campus by 6 millimeters and slightly cephalate of that. And then my medial mark is 5 millimeters in length and does not encroach upon the medial campus. And then I join those together in a curve which follows the natural eyelid crease until the medial and lateral are joined, as you can see here. Then I create a standardized mark in the brow that I base my measurement off of, and generally that's 1.2 to 1.5 centimeters, and that is the upper edge of my incision. And then I'll connect the medial incision to the lateral in a curved linear approach which matches the inferior incision. Once I finish the marks, I, with a small forcep, just pinch the skin together to show that I can remove the skin safely. Then I inject with 2% lidocaine with epinephrine three small wheels of local anesthetic within the area that I'm going to resect for hemostasis as well as analgesia. Then I wait five to seven minutes for the epinephrine to take effect prior to making an incision. 